The Buffalo Bills are considered one of the most bittersweet stories in the NFL's long history. A franchise that had at one point been on the brink of Super Bowl greatness has since been delegated to football irrelevancy after four consecutive Super Bowl losses. With the fan base that has remained loyal through the decades, even creating a culture all its own, their desperation for a semblance of past success may finally be at hand. In 2020, the Josh Allen-led Buffalo Bills are 4-0 and Bills Mafia is alive and kicking. And while a lot of that is attributed to the talent of players like Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, and the revived defense, the unsung heroes of the return of Bills dominance are the members that protect number 17 throughout the course of a game. The Bills offensive line has shown that they are the engine that powers the car. And we're going to take a look at a few plays that demonstrate their awareness as a line, their chemistry and their consistency in protecting Josh Allen, helping lead the way in the first portion of the 2020 season and an impressive record built by the fully fleshed out Bills team. Now let's take a look and break down the offensive line blocking for one of the best offenses in the NFL today. And now for the starting lineup of the Buffalo Bills at left tackle, we got Deion Dawkins. At left guard, we got Quentin Spain. At the center position, we have Mitch Morse. At right guard, we have Cody Ford. And at right tackle, we got Daryl Williams. Now let's take a look at the overall rankings for this 2020 Buffalo Bills offense. They're overall rated number four in the NFL with 409 yards per game. In passing, they're second in the NFL with 316 yards per game. And they've allowed only nine sacks, which has them tied for 15th in the NFL. Now, one of the things you're going to notice here is great play action by Josh Allen. And that allows for his offensive line to get, his, get their hands on defenders. And as usual, when you take a look here, he's got an excellent pocket. He's got that coffee cup sitting right in there. Uh, now, he does have a spy, and this looks like it's going to be a cover one defense. One safety over the top, man coverage underneath everything. And they're, they get a little slippage into Josh Allen late in that pass rush. But let's take a look at how the offensive line handles this from the end zone camera footage. So let's take a look at the end zone film here. Now, there's no tight end in this formation. So play action cells are going to have to be very under control. They're going to have to be very, uh, very well fit. You can't have anyone who's overrunning on their play action cell. Quarterback's got to be tight on his fake, get his, his, his eyes down the field. And uh, in this situation here, when you take a look at how the O-line attacks this, a lot of them got their eyes up. They got their hands inside. Uh, looking at the tackles here, they're both in good position. You have a good pocket set up for Josh Allen, good depth from the interior. Now, the one thing that I would say is that Cody Ford, number 70 on this one, the right guard, he didn't do a good job at selling the run, didn't get his hands inside into his defender, and his defender recognized quickly that he was actually running a play action. So he actually uses a pull-through move that slingshots him past his defender pretty much nullifies the chip from the running back and allows him to get some penetration late into this pass protection, which has affected uh, you know, Josh Allen very little here because the ball's already off, but it is uh, something you want to watch out for as an offensive lineman. You don't want to you know, undercommit or overcommit. You want to find that nice sweet spot when you're running your play action so you can get that defender to lean. That way you can sit down on the pass protection. Now, one thing you always want to be aware of in this red zone situation, it's third and four. Third and four in the red zone inside the 10 yard line. As an offensive lineman, you're always looking for some kind of special blitz, some type of pressure. They're gonna try and bring to confuse the offensive line. Now in this situation here, our offensive line actually does a really good job at preparing to take on this blitz. Now I think the left tackle was a little bit too vertical on his set here. He got a little bit too uh, tight to his guard in his vertical set, which can lead to leakage late because you've now made that edge shorter for that defensive pass rusher. Uh, now, this is a touchdown pass. Great throw by Josh Allen. And the offensive line actually does a pretty good job at picking up this blitz. But I would just say to look at the left tackle here, he's going to vertical set. That's going to bring him on a straight back line to try and give his guard some presence for the edge rushes that they're going to be getting here. Now, 50 and 95. 
these guys are coming on you know wide rushes coming from wide alignments you have to be ready for that type of thing now i think at this juncture right here for the left tackle and the left guard this is the point where i think they've gone a little bit too far in their vertical set because now it's turned them to the sideline and they're not able to use the help that they have coming from their center to keep that wide rush uh kind of contained now as in regards to the pocket the pocket is great you have great depth you have great width but you can't keep that width when you're pointed at the sideline like our tackle and guard are as you can see these guys are pretty easily pushed into Josh Allen uh, towards the end of this play, which does put a little bit of a damper on the job they did in creating a pocket for him on that third and four. Now, here we go. It's third and one. Once again, down and distance is always huge. With a team like this that can run or pass in this situation, obviously the play action pass from Josh Allen is going to do wonders for this offensive line and allowing them to set up a good pocket and a good a perimeter for him to pass out of as you can see here everybody's on a man the tight end is even holding up his block this play actions actually run pretty well you have a lot of the defenders in the box with their eyes on josh allen he has his pick of which wide open receiver he wants to throw the ball to uh, he has gabriel davis he has stefan diggs he has the running back out of the backfield everybody's open it appears on this play uh, but the offensive line gives a great amount of time by selling their run for the deep pass. They get the touchdown here, but let's take a look at the end zone. The end zone cut will show you that these guys actually did a pretty good job at selling the run. Uh, everybody who's not necessarily run blocking on a defender is giving presence for their next lineman so that the defense feels like there's double teams that are being run on the play. It keeps the linebackers in place. It has all of the entire box with their eyes in the backfield, flat-footed, looking at the play action, because you see linemen who have their shoulder pads down, you see linemen who are engaged with their defensive front, and that really does trick uh, the linebackers and secondary into thinking for that split second that it's a run play. Now, Josh Allen does a great job in his progression here, going from left to right and finding Gabriel Davis deep. He's got his man beat by about 7.4 yards of space, so it's an easy throw for him. Thought it was pretty good protection, pretty solid pocket, great sell from the offensive line, and it allows this play to really uh, take off from the very onset, and they get six points out of it. Now on this last play here, I think this is a great example of the awareness that this offensive line has when they're protecting their quarterback. Now we look at the pocket, and yes, this is a great pocket for Josh Allen. It holds up the entire time against this cover one hole defense. They've got a safety playing underneath, or actually it's a cover one robber. Safety playing underneath, safety playing over the top. Uh, Josh Allen puts a dime once again on the money for a significant game there. But let's take a look at the offensive line. Now, with this O-line, there's something that you got to understand about this protection that they're in. Stephon Diggs is coming out of the backfield, setting up with the slot. Now, instantly, looking at these defensive linemen, the front is wide open. You've got two wide three techniques, two outside uh, shades from the uh, defensive ends. You've got to be aware for some kind of game coming from the defensive front. This is something that is pretty much offensive line 101. You've got two wide three techniques, you're gonna get some kind of stunt. Now with that, the pocket is great. And the reason why it's great is because the center in this three hot protection, which slides to the right, three hot meaning that there's no uh, running back protection for the quarterback. So any kind of threat to the inside is gonna be on the offensive line. And in this protection here, uh, the right guard actually misses on the looper from the stunt that the D line's bringing. And even though he misses, which, is, which isn't which is a good thing, he does have the center there to help for anything that leaks inside. So the center is actually aware that if this guard doesn't pick up this looper, then that's on him. And he does a good job of setting, being in position, and being able to pick up that looping defensive end. Now on our left side, we've got two one-on-one -on -one pass protection matchups. And obviously those are gonna be a little bit harder. Now, I think that Cody Ford does a good job here at being able to save this block. He gets his feet underneath him. He recovers his hands, gets them back inside, and he's able to reestablish his base and, uh, you know, shore up that block to keep Josh Allen from getting hit. Now, I do think the defender did have his hands in Cody Ford's face mask. That should have been called. But we all know his offensive linemen, they're not going to call that kind of thing. But overall, this line does a really good job at solidifying their protection here and making sure that they're winning their one-on-one -on -one battles. 
Now, obviously, that's just a taste of what the Buffalo Bills are bringing to the table this year in the NFL. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. What team would you like to see me break down next as far as offensive line breakdowns go? Make sure you are subscribed to the Observant Lineman Uche Waneri. I appreciate you guys very much for checking out this video, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.